world famous and Rachel. It really is more down. There really is nothing going on, guys. Look at it. We're in there almost. That is it. Yeah, that is it. Cool. Rachel. Welcome to Rachel Nevada. A ton of stickers on it, of course. Of course. Yeah, okay. Oh, I can't read it anymore. Yeah, full of stickers. Still no there is the, the, is that, is that the gas station. That's the gas station. That's the, the alien. Okay. This even has an alien on it. <laughs> wow, this is such a small town. It's oh crazy. Oh my gosh. That my, is it? That is it. And probably somewhere here. You will have to turn a left and then... Uh, yeah, I guess. Well, I have no idea where the shop is. <laughs> There. I, I think that's it. it, yeah. Little alien. Little alien. Little alien. Yeah, yeah there it is. <laughs> Restaurant, bar, motel. There's nothing but this. Ankunft, Rachel. There it is, Rachel, yeah. Rachel. Little alien. There it is. Yeah. Well, Earthlings, welcome. Nice, great. Look at it, man. There's even aliens in front of it. Area 51. <laughs> Yes. Nice, here we are, man. <laughs> <laughs> Was it worth it? Of course. Of course. Always. Let's get a call for yes. you. There's a dog in the car. Dog is driving. <laughs> can you walk in there? Of course, yeah, let's get a call for you. Maybe we can sit outside here. Yeah, for sure. Good, thank you. Thank you. All right, welcome in. Make yourselves at home. If I catch you filming on property, that becomes mine. <laughs> uh huh. Got that on film. <laughs> you guys hungry? Uh. Oh. Well, uh, actually, we wanted to go for a coffee. Coffee? Mm -hmm. Yeah. together with some English dudes but uh, as you see this is, this is rural Nevada yeah, there's basically nothing but just this long road yeah and we're gonna just drive and drive and eventually yeah we will have to stop I think that's how it is right yeah there at one point there must be big stop and then you, you stop <laughs> yeah so uh, it's kind of crazy a bit so we're coming up, it went into from a gravel road into a normal road, a paved road and you see those lamps and stuff, What what is there? Oh yeah. my gosh. Yeah, it's quite a bit. We're coming up on area fucking 51. It's starting, starting to look different now. Jesus. It's happening, man. Oh my gosh. Yeah, there it is. That is it? I guess that is it, yeah. Yeah, it looks like it. It looks like, like a zone which you must not go into. And this guy in front there probably thought the same. <laughs> and now he's turning around and driving all the way back. Not even getting out. There it is, guys. The real, the real thing. There is the sign, mate. 
There it is. Holy shit. Holy shit, man. Holy fucking shit. Oh my gosh. A no drone zone, of course. Let's get out. Alright, let's do that. Fifty one. Like you that they are smiling. They know. <laughs> you probably can't hear a thing. Photography of this area is prohibited, so I'm already breaking the law. There it is. Area fifty one. Fucking shit, there is the truck. There it is, yeah. There is the there fucking is the truck. truck. There it is. There it is. Holy shit. There are the guys that are armed. Man, they weren't kidding. There it is, it's watching us. Holy crap. Take him on right now. The Zao car here. This guy didn't even get out because he was so so afraid of this truck. It's really a truck, a white truck with people in it and they're watching us. I think if we step over here... Uh, he'll get us. He'll get us, yeah. This is one of the most crazy things I've done. This is the US government. And we're just standing there. This is one of those governments which again doesn't fuck you around. High security zone. There it is. No trespassing. Maximum punishment of thousand five dollar fine. Six months imprisonment or both. Or both, right? Holy. And probably inside those buildings are some guards and shit. Unauthorized personnel not permitted beyond this point. Here it is. Area 51. Area 51. Hi. Yeah. After you. After you. <laughs> you can. You can. We did it. They, they don't mind. So guys, this is it. Uh, Era 51, US government, military secret weapon development thing. Yeah, of course, I did. <laughs> Holy shit. There it is, yeah. Oh, it's very nice. Grand Canyon at last. Weather, uh, hopefully, it stays like this. I can manage it. Also booked the ticket for this over there. This is called the Skywalk, but there are no people on it, so I got a feeling it's closed. Uh, oh yeah. Oh, and the weather is coming. It is coming. So either we could have waited till night yes, to night. go over there and sit over there 
Or we just sit here. We sit here and we see it anyway. Or we just walk up like yeah. normal people. Like this dude. Yeah, it's just why. People are people. So we're here, we are waiting for the weather to pass. Uh, so we can then enjoy it. Uh, and uh, yeah, look at it again. So now we'll see how the meal is at the Skyview restaurant. Um, see what they have. They have this, okay. This is what a meal looks like at the Skywalk restaurant. You're getting it served beautifully. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, it looks okay actually. Let's see how it tastes. And the weather is better. Better, eh? So when we're done, I think we'll have no rain and probably a better view as well. So they opened the skywalk again, but you're not allowed to take any kind of phones or cameras with you. So you can just look down. But still, not a bad view. That worker must have some balls. I mean, he has a uh, rope which saves him, but still, like, imagine dropping from this cart and then falling down there. Jesus Christ. <laughs> the Hualapai tribe even has their own police, as you see there. Hualapai police. So, the weather cleared up very nice, the wind is gone, beautiful view in the canyon. I can recommend you this. Um, this is, yeah, it's expensive, but it's, it's really, really cool. You can see pretty far and you can look down and they don't allow you to take any, any cameras or anything. But it's, I recommend it, I mean, you do it once. Um, yeah, this is probably my nature highlight of the United States um, it's just so impressive I mean I've seen photos of it everyone has seen it like on a screen at one point but seeing it in person man just so endless it's also interesting the stuff they put up of the Indian uh, people here so they some inform put some informations up uh, the heritage and what they do now and the struggles they had to go through. At one point, the kids from the Hualapai were taken from the um, from their parents basically and put in a school to be like yeah, assimilated with American society, which is yeah, not really nice. But they stopped doing that long ago. But they did. And here is my friend, the crow. Look, he doesn't even care. That coffee cost me over seven dollars. It better be freaking good. Thank you very much. Yeah. Yeah, it's decent. Now it's not the best one I ever had, but pretty good and I'm a pretty pretty hard guy to please with coffee so yeah it's expensive but it's good San Yuva home of the eagle then it is the most American place ever right <laughs> all right what is else here now some might call this a tourist trap but I I was about to call it, but it was a really nice experience. You can look at this canyon, you can eat something. Yeah, it wasn't incredible, but it wasn't that bad. So yeah, and you can, yeah, it's all about the view, basically. You can chill out here a little bit. Now that the weather is better, it's actually really nice. So yeah, there are a lot of people, as you see, they're lining up for the bus and they're uh, being transported back and forth from where the car park is. But it's really, it's not that bad. It's actually pretty good. So yeah, Grand Canyon Skywalk is improved. It's not cheap, but how often do you have the chance? And seeing the Grand Canyon in real life is a real impressive thing. 
So sure you can drive up yourself some rails, but you're not gonna get a view like that. So yeah, this is it over and out from Grand Canyon. This is probably my highlight from the US trip, um, from the nature point of view, from landscape point of view, really impressive stuff. And also the surrounding area. Here the Indian reservation is also really beautiful. The cacti and all the endless, endless range here they have. Really nice. I don't know what that is, like some theater. It's also looking interesting. There is literally a bin over there. Why people? Why? So you know my home Danny Gordon girl. No? So now we are at the abandoned city of Kelso in the middle of the Mojave Desert. And I have to say for a, f well, a abandoned city, it looks pretty damn nice. We have beautiful roads, a nice car park and we have toilets. That doesn't really scream abandoned to me. However, what we do have is a old post office, probably, yeah, post office, yeah. That is for sure abandoned. But then you have this really nice house, which is a visitor center. Now it's closed because it's renovated, probably, but this doesn't look abandoned. It is a train station, like, I don't know if it's actively used as one. We saw trains passing by, but I don't think like trains really stop here anymore. I mean, what business do they have here? I have no idea. Maybe exchange some, some cars or something on the other tracks, but that's really everything that's happening here probably. Union Pacific System. That's like this very famous uh, railroad company, Union Pacific from America. I don't know if this is still like valid. Or if it's a remainder of past things, past times, I don't know. Maybe they left it here as a... Like for, for reasons. Now you are definitely alone here. This direction, I think 30, 40 kilometers, there's nothing, just desert. And then there's like a highway, so there's also like the next village is still very far away and here I don't know but probably even longer however if you go long enough this distance you will end up in Las Vegas so yeah it's a cool fact now let's actually check out something a bit more abandoned we have aha uh -huh. <laughs> interesting now this must have a creepy vibe at night, I tell you that. Just imagine being here alone at night. Jesus! Of course the chair has the American flag on it. Some somebody has been here at one point, not too long ago. Man, it stinks in here. Fuck, man. Ugh. It stinks, man. Ugh. Did somebody dump in there? I don't know. Well, nothing special to see here. Just some tools. Some children toy thing. the back of this uh, post office 
and some remainings of some foundations and some some stuff but yeah there's like some trucks parked there it isn't really that abandoned anymore is it it's actually actively worked on and used so yeah i'll say it's not really abandoned anymore but still pretty cool to see are closing in. We are on our worst road so far. But it's only three miles so it's not a big deal. And then we're gonna walk up on this uh, well on one of those. <laughs> those two. <laughs> All of them is pretty hardcore. I think they have a real name like uh, proper name to just the Kelso dunes and yeah we're gonna try to walk up hopefully we're not gonna die of thirst or eat stroke or some snake bites us who knows <laughs> if I die I'll at least die as a real patriot here <laughs> so there we are at the trail it is uh, quarter past one so it's like the probably most well not probably not even the hottest uh, temp but one of the hottest temperatures of the day so perfect time to start hiking on a dune where there's nothing else around I actually did such a similar thing once in uh, Lanzarote in Spain I went up uh, uh, some volcano in like the same heat it wasn't really that bad but here this seems to me a lot further because I mean it doesn't look like it's far but you gotta see like in the front there the dune only starts and then we go up so let's hopefully we we can make this and i'm gonna do it in flip-flops are you ready yep. wait a minute might suppose that 50 degrees celsius let's go I never saw such a, a site before. Alright. It's uh, set the same in Spain. Um, but I have to say in Spain it was at least like you had some shelter. Like at one point you had like some rocks where you could hide behind and some tree stump, stumps and stuff. But here there's really nothing. There's just the pure heat and pure desert. And probably some animals that hide in next to this, uh, these bushes. So, yeah, that'll be hardcore, guys. I don't know if we can make it all the way to the top, but, yeah, most important thing, water, sunscreen is on, yeah. All we can do is try. If I make a shot like this and put it on Instagram, people will be like, hey, are you in Italy? Are you in Spain? And then you film up. And then I film up. Nope, I'm in the Mojave Desert going on a dune because why not there it is the dune is waiting let's do it as you see people have been walking around here there are footsteps everywhere I don't think there's all animals because why would they go exactly here <laughs> Uh, all the time now uh, it doesn't look like it on camera for sure but we've moved a bit closer um, I found a technique to avoid getting my feet burned by the sand it's like I try to always whip it out before I can hit my toes so uh, if you don't want this extra stress just take regular shoes better idea better idea This is for sure the most beautiful dune I've ever went upon and also the biggest. And I can see the end, the destination. The summit, do you say a summit in a dune? Because it moves and stuff. Can't really call it a summit, right?
Man, I love it. Didn't expect to love sand so much. Wow. That is a drop here. You see where the wind blows in here and it forms the dune. Look at that. Where does it blow like that? I'm no dune expert. Uh, probably you can't spot it, but here on the very top of the dune you can see the, fla the sand flying like this, see? There it flies. So the dune moves like that. I don't know how long it takes for it to move substantially so you can actually notice the difference. I have really no idea, but I can't imagine it, does it doesn't take that long really. See how the sand flies off of it? Yeah, cool. Oh fuck man, that burns. Ah, fucking shit. Ah. Wow. Holy shit, that hurt. Probably gonna have burn marks when I'm done. Uh, no, no, I won't give up now. I'll get up the stem hill. I've went up way worse hills. However, I didn't do it in flip-flops on sands in 50 degrees Celsius, but I did it. <laughs> oh, it's so worth it. Look at it. Beautiful. Beautiful. Ah, ah shit. This is gonna hurt like a motherfucker. Fuck this shit! Ah. Shit, man. Ah, oh, fuck, man. Oh, I have to sit down again. Oh, this is no shit. Man, that burns. I'm not making this up. This is very, very painful. So, if you didn't get it by now, don't walk up Mojave Dune on flip flops. Don't be as stupid as me, don't do it. Even if you think it's just two kilometers, don't do it. Get proper shoes. What is this last stretch? No fucking way. Uh, uh, it's so fucking high. <laughs> see, see the elevation? And now imagine you can't really get a grip. Ah. <laughs> uh, but still, baby steps, I'm gonna make it. Quarter past two, one of the hottest times of the day. And just a slight breeze, a light breeze. Just imagine the temperature. Ah! <laughs> Fucking shit, no! You stay here, I need you, I need you, I need you. Ah, oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> this is so much fun. It is kind of fun, admittedly, it is fun. I tell ya. Falling down on a dune, you have to do it. You have to experience it once in your life. But this bit, man. Ah, man. Come on, it's up there. Literally. I'll get to you, you. A little. Oh shit, I don't want to slide down there. No, no, no. If I slide down this side, please. But here it is. Yes. Yeah. Almost at the very, very top. This is already, I count this as a total win already. And you see, there's the path to the real top. Ah, it's so hot. I'm almost out of water. Why did I bring a stupid 600 milliliter bottle? Oh, but hey. The view, it is all worth it. It is all worth it.
Take that, Lignano, for a view. Oh, yeah. I'm laying on a dune in California in the desert. Ah, sandstorm. Sandstorm. How can that be on top of a dune? Impossible, man. Spot to see it, I tell you. See how the sand flies? Like that. It's all in my face here. If I sit like that, it's okay. It's only gonna hit my back, so I'm gonna sit like that. Um, so, yeah, that was it. I have to now get back down. It's gonna be very exhausting, too, so. Uh, but I recommend it 100%, guaranteed. I recommend it. It's the best thing I've done in a long time. And it's got a beautiful view, beautiful nature, desert, yeah. And now that the wind has stopped, it's completely silent. Listen, nothing, beautiful. Hmm. That's what happens when I try to get up. <laughs> Gonna slide down on my ass now. That hurts like a mother. Jesus Christ. All right, almost made it back. I'm out of water. Patch the car is invisible distance. So uh, 15 minutes at max and then I'm there. Oh yeah. If I stayed, I don't know, 15 minutes longer on the dune, that would have been some very painful 15 minutes now. I didn't plan to record anything now, but I have to show you this. This is a cool Route 66 diner cafe from back in the days, and we found it. And we had a meal and it was very good. And also it wasn't expensive. But what I liked the most is <laughs> she didn't like uh, you know shove the tip down our throat and like bam 18%. Yeah, she said, true. if you like to add a tip, you, you have to do it. it. Yeah. Like you can do it. That's how it's supposed to be. Yeah. Um, and as I said, it was very good. And let's just let the truck pass here. The Peter Bill truck. <laughs> uh, and like I had a coffee too and she didn't even build me the coffee. Like I only paid for one drink. How is that? That was really cheap and good. So it was cheap, it was good. What, what more can you want? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's why I wanted to show you this. Maybe if you- It isn't so expensive to eat. No, especially not in the countryside. So if you pass by this a lot loaf cafe, check it out guys, it's really good. Yeah. All right, now we move on to Palm Springs. Or well, first, no, no, first we go to- Pioneer uh, town. town. It's like a movie set that was made into a town. That's also unique. Yeah, definitely. So yeah, let's go there. Then uh, Palm Springs. Let's go. Quick update. By accident, we are driving on the world famous Route 66. Back there, left on the left, there is the highway, the interstate highway. And on front, here the road, this is Route 66, so like a part of it. By accident, guys. How cool is that? <laughs> Found the end of the world. I have literally no idea where we are. We're somewhere in deepest California in some sort of valley. I can remember it just said so and so valley. And yeah, we've been driving along here and we found the end of the world. Yeah, it really is sort of the end of the world here when you think about it. End of the world. And back there is like an RV from Breaking Bad. Maybe we found a uh, secret spot where they cook. Of course. <laughs> need a tire. It does look like a usable one. Yeah, could need a patch. And some abandoned houses over there. There it is, the end of the world. 
They always croak it, how fitting. We saw a sign where you can buy a home for $24,000. Considering the market of the US, which is a very in crisis mode, house, housing costs are through the roof in the US. Getting a house for $24,000 is a pretty good deal. Now, the drawback is you are at the end of the world. Like there is nothing this way and nothing that way for an eternity. So I don't think it's really uh, anybody's choice here. But yeah, this is how it is. I can't imagine there are a lot of people still here. But you have power lines, you have internet. It's all there. So this is a real community. So yeah, but very rural and run down not really prosperous but yeah this is also america rural america exactly. we've been to so much rural america now we got a pretty good idea of it yeah. and as i was saying when we're driving it differs like there are some villages which are super beautiful they could be in switzerland and then there's this so it depends on basically where it is located This here Pioneer Town parking lot. Uh, yeah, this was a movie set and it's made into a city, you said. Yeah, it turned into a city. So, well, it's a cool idea actually. <laughs> Just wonder what movie were shot here. Probably Western, I guess. Like some really old Western movies, probably. But yeah, that looks so authentic Western, except maybe the lamps, but the rest, pretty darn accurate here with this carriage, old barn. I mean, of course, the power lines, they don't really fit in, but yeah, the rest is cool. However, I think we're a bit too late because all of this is already closed. Soap goats, what the hell? But look what they have here. You Listen. can't just walk in and talk to to persons. Oh, no. You have to do a curbside check-in. I can say curb your curbside check-in. You'll need my ID, right? Yeah. So here we are in our little lodge here where Marilyn Monroe used to stay. Not kidding. That's why she's here. This whole thing looks old. But it has a pool. Yeah, it looks good, especially for the price. Can't really complain. And it's clean. And yeah, that was our long day. We're destroyed. <laughs> uh, I'm destroyed. I'm full of sand. <laughs> um, and I'll now eat my dinner here, okay. which is a croissant with butter. And yeah, see you tomorrow. Maybe. <clears throat>